very interesting horse in the Arkansas Derby and We the People, who is two for two. Oh, yeah. He's, um, you know, it's a, he's very talented, obviously. Um, maybe since I've been on my own, maybe uh, the best three years old, uh, I was able to, to train. Um, let's say best three years old I kept, you know, obviously it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't include just, justify and life is good. Um, so, you know, I mean, we, um, we got a couple of setbacks with him. We, you know, um, he should have run last year. And then we, we give him the time. He was nothing bad, but we give him some time. And he came back to us uh, with one breeze. And then we, uh, we deal with some bad weather here. Um, he was a, the beginning of the, the meet in Oakland for us was a little rough because um, we, we, we were having our season need a breeze and we didn't have any track the breeze. Uh, sometimes we breeze at five days, sometimes we breeze at 12 days. It was, it was pretty rough to, to try to get the horse ready, but, um, you know, he got in two eyes, race got canceled both time, um, didn't breeze for almost uh, two weeks, uh, shed roll for six days and went to get up on the, on the track two days and then run that maiden going a mile first time out. And, uh, you know, it, it's, um, it's unbelievable how a good horse can make you, uh, look good like you know what you're doing because uh you know um he's he got a lot of things against him and he he really uh show up uh, on his first race and then obviously uh back up back up the first win uh with his win in Halo. so now uh, it's a step up but you know we uh we obviously like the horse if we if we take the the shot in that race you know we we put a lot of time into him um some of the things we have to go his way not our way uh because he's he, he will, you know, he, he, he will, uh, he will lose it on the track if, if you don't, you know, if you don't sink uh, ahead, you know, we, we try to adapt everything around him because he is a kind of horse. If you try to make him adapt to you, uh, that's, he, 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 that's not going to work. So, um, but, you know, now we know him long enough. He's been with us for, uh, he's been with us for uh, almost uh, eight, you know, eight months total. And, uh, and, you know, we, um, we, we know how to handle him and, uh, and so far he's been paying, you know. How much are you thinking about May 7th with this horse, Kentucky Derby? Well, I mean, obviously, you know, it's a big jump. We have to run one or two and we got to make sure he stays sound. And, but, you know, the, the, the decision to, to run the Arkansas Derby was based on, based on seeking. We can maybe qualify in the horse can maybe qualify himself. Uh, we just like the fact uh, he ran uh, off of his home stall. He's been the whole winter. Um, you know, he, he was two for two on the track. Um, and, you know, the question was, do you want to run at three weeks the Arkansas Derby or do you want to run four weeks the Bluegrass? Well, we, um, you know, we sit down and talk and he, he almost, um, you know, was uh, anonymous where we, we said, uh, let's run him off, off of his home stall. He came out the, the other ones good and, and then after that, we got five weeks to uh, come up with a plan. If he does qualify, to to bring him uh, to bring him uh, on a, on a big day, the best, you know. Not not saying that he's um, going to be a Justify or Chip a Crown winner. Not many are, but the fact that Justify didn't race at uh, didn't break his maiden until I think early February. Didn't race. Um, I think only had three races going into the Kentucky Derby as well. Um, does that give you some? confidence that that it's it's attainable that not just getting into the derby but maybe even winning if you've got the right horse even if they're unraced at two and so lightly raced uh didn't even cross my mind um let's let's see what happened uh, tomorrow first and you know we 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 don't you know i you know i i've been around a lot of good horses and the last thing you want to do it's map map too far away you know we what we do is a uh, day by day and, you know, you never know what you're going to find out when you check the legs the next morning. So I, you know, I did right now is um, it's try to win a grade one. We, we didn't accomplish that. And uh, I think that us may be able to do it for us. That would be, that would be really good. And uh, if he does that, he qualifies himself. And then, then we can uh, start to think on the next one, but I won't, uh, I won't put uh, the horse or myself uh, too far away. But what about, um, um, the field in general and the Philly secret oath. Yeah, that, uh, that Philly, you know, it's obviously very nice. Um, 
like I told the press this week, I think they're all pretty nice. I mean, you know, some of them, if you if you cross all the number and different, you know, Bayer, Toro Graph and Toro Manager and all that stuff, rags, um, everybody is kind of in the same, I would say, you know, two or three points difference, but everybody is kind of close. Um, so, you know, it's, um, I mean, somebody's got to have to step up. And uh, that's what you, that's what everybody is looking for. And this is why we're in there and we got to let, let them run, you know. Um, it's, um, you know, we just hope everything for everybody goes smooth and then, you know, and then uh, the best one, the best one win and deserve to go to the next one.